Oh, well, it's too late. No, it's not. It's too late. I, I, it's already recorded. But, You're not my. I'm not trying to record you, but it's already done. But if I'm telling you that I don't want to ride, it's not authorized. Yeah, it's, it's too late, though, ma'am. You know right? No disrespect, but it's uh, it's already too late. Yeah, but you could get in trouble for that. I could call the police on and tell them that you recorded. I don't think you would call the police just for public photography. I can barely hear you. I said, just stop recording me. Well, ma'am, if you don't want to be recorded, just drive off. Okay. Like I said, I'm about to call the police on you. No, I don't do that. Now, if you didn't want to be recorded, why would you come back? I'm just curious. Don't worry about what I'm doing. It just seems kind of odd. Excuse me, can you call the police? Hello. I can't hear you. Can you oh no, I'm good. Appreciate you. He just asked me if I need help. Nothing wrong with that. Welcome back. You are here today with your boy, Anthony X. And today we're back in the East Bay, Alameda County, Livermore, California. Today we'll be conducting a First Amendment audit at Patalco Credit Union. They've been established since 1936. They have over 400,000 members nationwide. You can find them here in Northern California throughout the Bay Area, San Jose, and Sacramento with over $8 billion in assets. Let's see if they honor and respect my rights to take picture and video in public and work on my story in peace. That being said, let's just get right into it. Yeah, let's uh, do some video recording and see how they react to public photography, guys. Livermore, California. There's just a couple people in here. Not too busy right now. I don't think they're going to bother me, though. And if anyone wants to come over, Monday through Friday, um, 10 to 6. And then Saturdays, 10 to 2. Looks like we got a customer right there walking in. I think she's telling someone that there's a guy with a camera right here. She's looking over to the left, but I'm right behind her. They're shaking their head like, can you believe there's someone out there with a camera? It's just a camera, guys. I can't see any of their personal information. I'm not recording the ATM or anything crazy. Got someone right over here. Got possibly that. Looks like it was the branch manager right there. You can see the lady kind of pointing to where I was at like, can you believe there's someone out there recording? There she goes, right there. Oh, we've been spotted, guys. She's telling, saying that I was over here recording as well. He might be calling someone. It's just a camera, guys. I come in peace. Oh, no, I'm good. Appreciate you. He just asked me if I need help. Nothing wrong with that. I don't think they're gonna help him just because, uh, maybe because I'm out here recording. Hard to say, guys.
That was lady that was making a big issue of me recording right there. Was it? I'm just working on a story on the bank. Oh, on the bank? Yeah. Well, it's too late. No, it's not. It's too late. I, I, it's already recorded. But, You're not my. I'm not trying to record you, but it's already done. But if I'm telling you that I don't authorize you, then it's not authorized. Yeah, it's it's too late though, ma'am. You know right? No disrespect, but it's uh, it's already too late. Yeah, but you could get in trouble for that. I could call the police officer and tell them that you recorded. I don't think you would call the police just for public photography. I can barely hear you. I said, just stop recording me. Well, ma'am, if you don't want to be recorded, just drive off. Okay. Like I said, I'm about to call the police on you. No, don't do that. Go get her. Don't do it. Don't do it. But see, she's coming back again. She couldn't just go home. She's coming back a second time. So hopefully she's not calling someone to come and rough me up a little bit. I hope not. Now, if you didn't want to be recorded, why would you come back? I'm just curious. Don't worry about what I'm doing. It just seems kind of odd. Excuse me, can you call the police? Hopefully she's just telling him that this is an open area. They have no authority outside here on the street. I mean, she's welcome to call the police guys. I literally just came from the police station. They know I'm in the area. They know I'm recording. I don't think they're going to do anything. If you don't want to be recorded, don't get my don't get the cameraman's intention and don't linger in front of them. And definitely don't make a U-turn and come back in front of the cameraman while he's recording. That just doesn't make any sense. She's kind of pointing to the manager over there. Maybe he already called. I can't hear you. She's trying to mumble something. I'm like, I can't hear through the glass. So far, I mean, they're not too bad. I mean, the manager came out, asked if I needed any, any help. He didn't say I had to leave or anything. Um, the teller was kind of giving me a, not the teller, but the lady there was kind of giving me some looks. And then this one customer, you know, voiced her concern how she doesn't want to be recorded, but yet she rolled down her window, she stopped, engaged in conversation with me, then literally made a U-turn, came back around the parking lot. What When she knows I'm recording, I told her I'm working on a story about the bank, yet she still came over here. I mean, if it were me and I didn't want to be recorded, guys, I would have just left, but you know, hey, that's just me. That's just my two cents. Hopefully this will be over with. She can go home, have a good night. Um, I'll go get my dinner, be on my way. It is what it is. It's about education, guys. And like I said, she's not my target, guys. You know, I just want to see how the staff or the managers um, react to public photography. And then if they do call the police, how do the police handle it? You would be surprised how many times police officers, they were great when I just went to their station. They were saying hi. They were being very cordial. Um, they didn't stop me when I was recording the inside or out. Um, but you never know. Sometimes when they get a call for service, they automatically think they're entitled to your personal information, which is not true. That's not the case. That's not how it works. Um, so yeah, guys. I mean, they got the shades here, or the blinds. They could just put the blinds down. There you go. That's not so hard. Good job. Hey, you see, that's all they had to do. Put the blinds down.
There she goes, guys. If I had to guess, the police probably educated them on the phone. I was just at the PD, so they're probably like, yeah, just leave him alone, he'll go away. We'll give it another 10, 15 minutes just to be safe. Um, if the police don't come, we'll go get our dinner and call it a night. She's still worried about leaving. Can't just go to her house and have a good night. She's got to keep on uh, lingering in front of me while I'm recording. Probably not the best idea, guys. Bye, Karen.